By the it's, it's really it's really good to have a GoPro. I mean, in your car, I don't know about strapped to yourself, but I wear. A con I mean, if I walk, I every dog walk, I have it. I go to the grocery store, I have it on. Yeah, because I've had situations where people they talk out of the side of their neck, and I'm like, bro, you better chill out, man. I could play you. I could make a movie of all the people who've walked by this facility who've like given me static, like. There's like drunk dudes from the bars that walk by here and they're like, Wah. they're like, I'm like, bro, I'm at work. Come back at eight. I'll kick your ass in. <laughs> I tell him, I'm like, I'm, I'm, Let's go to a wait, 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 nope. At least he's on leash now. Le at least he's on leash. Right? I have a girl. Okay. Hi. What's going on, doggy? What's going on? Yeah, well, he was off. Or she was off leash a second ago, right? She was. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Well, I walk dogs and I have oh, dogs coming in and me. out of here. Oh, no. Right. Dad, let me see, 18 years right. Yeah, it's not about your dad. It's not about your dad. Thank it's what it's you. about is obeying the leash law. I have no idea. It's about obeying oh the leash law. God. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we have bigger problems. Yeah. Ukraine war. No, I think yeah, right now in this moment, in this problems. moment, I think Party. that in this moment, I think, think I think we should worry about dogs world. that are coming out yeah. here. Okay. I'm glad this is on film. Oh my All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. All right. Good. Well, why don't you go that way? This is my business, and I'm trying to come out with my clients. I don't bother anybody. I want you to keep your dog on leash. Yeah. I am. Mind this is my business, and I'm minding it. This is yours. Yeah, it is. I rent this space. I'm not. I'm not talking about the trees. You can go. Like you Hi, honey. Life. What's going on? I have a life. I'm trying to live it. No, I don't think right? you do. You let your dog jump on me. Right? Right? It even said you're a psycho, too. No, that neighbor well, likes I me. I already know. You're a psycho. You cause problems for everybody. No, I don't. You need to get in line. I solve problems. Mind Are you face aware face. of your behavior right now? Person. Right? My dog's a happy person. So then be happy over there. I have a life. You need, you I'm trying to live it right now. Either. I can stare at anybody I want. Wow, that was quite the performance. Excuse me? That was quite the performance. Oh. <laughs> quite the performance. You're looking. Yeah. Your attitude, you, 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 you butt into someone else's business. This is my business. Do you see why I wear a GoPro? Yeah. Do what I just dealt with? Yes, we saw it through the window. Yeah, nut job. So this person is so delusional that they thought you think I'm crazy. Yeah, she had her dog off leash. Yeah. And so when I came out, I noticed it. I didn't say a word. Then she put her dog on leash and I was just watching her because I need to let out a dog who's really scared. So I'm watching her to make sure she's going away. And so she stared at me. So I was like, well, at least you have your dog on leash now. Thank you. And then that's what touched off her psycho. But hey, now you know why, right? I film. It's all on film. I'm putting that on YouTube. All right. If you've just had the fortunate or unfortunate pleasure of watching that performance by the unhinged lunatic, uh, thanks for sticking around. Let me break all this down for everybody. Uh, first of all, there is a leash law. And where I live, there is no more animal control officer. Off-leash dogs can be a problem. Anybody who is aware of the 
area of town where my business is located, uh, they know where my business is and dogs come and go out of my business because I train dogs and hold classes there. So you would think that people would be aware and be a little extra safe or just, you know, have some etiquette and maybe create some distance and keep their dogs on leash specifically. It is, for all intents and purposes, a parking lot. There is a lot of activity there where my business is located. I don't have very many bad stories of anything happening. And if there is a bad story, I have rectified how I approach that situation and do things differently. Okay? So safety is my religion when it comes to dogs and working with them. And I don't think and I don't think that that's unreasonable for the type of work that I do, which is helping people with their dogs and taking care of dogs for people. When I have dogs with me, I am at work. I do not have any dogs of my own. So if I am in public or at my facility, wherever I am with a dog, if you see me, I am at work. Those are other people's dogs. And I have a huge responsibility to make sure that everything goes well and safe. Okay. Uh, in addition, um, you know, most people think that their dogs are going to be, quote, just fine, end quote, when they're off leash. And maybe they are, but you're getting lucky. You're not um, great at training or anything you think you are. You're just getting lucky, okay? Or maybe you have a really mellow dog, and again, you're getting lucky. But as long as dogs are breathing and moving, they can chase prey, they can run up to other dogs, they can get scared, etc. I work with over 400 dogs a year, thousands of people a year. Trust me, I have a very good pool, a lot of data about people and their mechanics and their reliability with training their dogs when they're on leash or off leash. The vast majority of people, 99.9% .9 of them, don't have that much control. And if they do, they're probably just getting lucky or maybe they're the rare people and they've actually done some work. Regardless, don't have your dogs off leash in public. It's potentially a problem. And if something happens and your dog is off leash, you're immediately going to be the guilty party because you're breaking the law. There's a lot of entitlement floating around out here, especially with people and their dogs. And that's what you saw with this particular person in the video you just watched. A lot of entitlement. And she's programmed. Okay? End of story. That's her deal. A rational person who wanted to have a discussion with me based on me saying, well, at least he's on leash now. And that's how I said it. I didn't yell. I didn't freak out. I didn't spaz out on her. I just said, at least he's on leash now. And the thank you was implied. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I didn't yell it. I wasn't losing my mind. But there you go. That's the response. And again, this is a person who has a pre-bias against me. So she's probably talked to some other people who I had to, to a varying degree, have a conversation with an adult for having their dog off leash in a precarious, compromising environment, I'm not pulling over to parks and yelling at people to have their dog on leash. It's usually when their dogs are off leash in something like a parking lot or where there is traffic. So at the end of the day, you can think what you want, you can have any feeling you want about me, but my schedule dictates otherwise. I do 16-hour days, 7 days a week, 365 days a year for the most part. I've been in business where I'm at over 20 years. Okay? So you can say what you want, but if you don't like me, it's probably because you got a whole other idea about what should be going on with dogs. And to be honest, I don't really care about what your opinion is about what dogs are doing or shouldn't do or this or that. You don't have my education. You don't have my pedigree. You don't have the skills to fact check me. End of story, you don't. If you did, I'd know who you were. Okay? So there's a whole lot of ignorance and entitlement and programming out here with human beings running around thinking that they're special and they're not. If I ask you to put your dog on leash or I make a comment like, hey, thanks for putting him on leash or, well, at least he's on leash now and you want to freak out and you're a woman, I'm probably just going to let you spaz out and get it on film and put you on the internet because I'm tired of this. This isn't the first time this has happened and it probably won't be the last because there are a lot of programmed entitled people running around and that's exactly what they are so moving forward I'm gonna put out a series of videos 
called Off Leash Dog Encounters, and it will include my exchanges. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes I actually have a real good conversation with people and explain to them, you know, this is why this is important. Sometimes people have meltdowns. But I'm going to dig through all the various hard drives in the years that I've done this, and I have it all on video. So, you know, be patient. I have some more readily available than others, but they're going to come out. And uh, you can see how unhinged people get for no reason or how sometimes men want to flex and I have to let them know there's no Kool-Aid in my heart and you should recalibrate because there might be a problem. Take that anger out of your eyes, bro. Don't walk over to me like that. Squared up. Bad idea. And they find out that it is, right? So again, I'm not an unhinged individual. I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of and I can read situations, okay? I talk to thousands of people a year about dogs. I educate people. I've been on stage. I've been on TV. I've made films. Trust me. I'm aware of who I am, my tone, and what I need to do in the moment to achieve the objective of helping a dog. And that is the underlying reason why I am doing anything with dogs is to help them. If I am addressing you or contacting you and it is unsolicited and it is outside, it is because your dog is probably going to be potentially in trouble if you don't put them on leash or keep them in your yard. Okay? That's all. Right? I'm just trying to help dogs be safe. And if you think that that is not something to pay attention to, I feel bad for the dogs that are in your care. Because I make sure above all else when I am working with dogs, whether I'm having leisure time with dogs, when I'm around dogs, that no matter what is happening, they are safe. First and foremost. My name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a dog trainer and behavior technician. And you can check me out on youtube.com slash Urban Dogs, that's D-A-W-G-S, or ModernDogTraining.com. It's always force-free, it's always applied behavior analysis, and it's always effective when you put it into practice. Train safe, dog life.